Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the, um, the files in the view section. So let's say you've made a mechanism. Uh, in this case, I've made a four bar mechanism and you want to save it uh, to your local uh, files on your desktop, your PC, whatever. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, just hit save, uh, save to local, give it a file name. In this case, I'll name it four bar mechanism. Hit save and it should appear down here. Okay. Uh, if you want to open an existing file that you've already made before, you can hit open and then select whichever file that you want. Okay. Um, and if you want to work with a um, with a blank canvas, all you have to do is click new and you'll be working with a blank canvas. Um, so another use, very useful thing is, um, let's say you have a, um, a mechanism that requires uh, a very specific uh, geometry and uh, for the uh, link length to be uh, very specific. So what you can do is uh, you could ser search up images of that uh, mechanism and then download it. And then from there, you can import it. So I'm going to click import, uh, import from IMG, import. And then you um, import that image. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to delete uh, this four bar mechanism. And in order to uh, move an image around, uh, click uh, image select on the right here on the base panel. And then you can move the image around. OK. So this is another um, straight line mechanism, basically. So I'm going to draw a link like this. So now it's very easy for me to uh, trace over it, right? Right. So this could be, uh, this is something that could be, uh, again, very useful when um, when creating uh, certain mechanisms that have to be of a certain uh, geometry or the, or the link lengths have to be uh, very, very um, specific. Just uh, search up the images of that mechanism, import it, and then basically trace over it. Okay. And of course, uh, it's not going to be perfect, but you can um, adjust the, um, you can adjust the link lengths. And when you're satisfied with your uh, mechanism, uh, you, uh, select the image again, and you can delete it, and you're left with the uh, mechanism, basically. Okay. Okay, so you get the idea. Okay, so some other cool things are, um, let's talk about the views. Um, so the views here, uh, you have kinematic view, standard view, freeform view, and snap the XO view. Okay, so let's start with... Um, Standard view. So standard view is the view that we are using right now. It's the default view. It's the most common view. Okay. Okay. And uh, kinematic view looks like this. Uh, this view is most uh, useful whenever you are only um, concerned with the lengths of the links and you don't really care about the shapes of them. Uh, you also have freeform view. Uh, freeform view is not as common. And then finally, you have uh, Snappy XO view, okay, which looks like uh, you know Snappy XO parts, okay. Now the cool thing about uh, being in Snappy XO view is that uh, you can actually create uh, plates in this uh, view uh, and not just uh, links, okay. So let's say you want to create like a, a plate of an arbitrary size, right? So you start by creating a link, you uh, make it an arbitrary length. Let's say I'm satisfied with that, and then you hit add joint again click anywhere on the link and basically you extend it upward and then you can create um, any plate of any arbitrary size. Okay. And, and then um, you can basically uh, export this as a file and then uh, you can, uh, you can uh, laser cut it later on. Okay. And uh, again, uh, once you're done with it, uh, you can export it um, as a certain file. Uh, usually uh, SVG, and again, uh, this is very useful whenever you need to uh, laser cut something, especially in the Snappy XO view. Okay, so um, a couple of other things. Uh, we have a library here. Uh, this library is full of uh, different uh, mechanisms that were made by previous students. Um, this library is uh, usually being edited and stuff like that, so uh, this can be very helpful. You can draw inspiration from here. Um, 
for, uh, with your settings here, uh, generally you don't um, you don't have to touch uh, the general stuff or the advanced stuff. Uh, with the unit stuff, um, you can change the units of each uh, box. Its default setting is inches, but you can either use centimeters, inches, or um, XO. Uh, XO is very useful when you're dealing with uh, snappy XO uh, parts and views like that. Okay. And last but not least, uh, we have this uh, 3D view here. Uh, this 3D view here is very nice. So let's say you've uh, made your uh, mechanism. I'm going to go back to a standard view and I'm going to make a uh, another uh, four bar mechanism. Um, so, yeah, so let's say you've made your four bar mechanism and you wanna see it in 3D. You click 3D view and you have this very, very nice uh, 3D uh, view here. And you can move it around just like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to end the video here.